Hi, I'm Peter Hartley, and this is my fourth and my final video blog. And uh, looking over the past year in the sound and video placement, some aspects that have surprised me and resonated with me are the fact that technical expertise is the most important aspect, of course, but almost as crucially important as uh, that is uh, aspects such as adaptability and good people skills because you're responding to and you're managing with people's expectations around concerts and uh, everyone's got different versions of, of what they want in a concert and uh, also they have to deal a lot with time pressure and deadlines which is something that has cropped up again and again so that everything wasn't all sorted you know a month and a half before the concert um, but a lot of changes were made right up to the final concert and um, sort of similarly to that is the scope for individuality and creativity within, um, especially on the mixing desk at live concerts where each engineer would have his own approach to how it would be mixed and uh, n none of the engineers saw the other's approach as wrong, which is something that I was impressed by. Um, so some aspects that increased my understanding of work environment were, so now I'm more confident in using technology uh, like mixing desks and um, I've learnt a lot more about teamwork so I managed to be, be vigilant and watch the team have really good clear communication skills between themselves and working effectively because of this uh, so aspects that didn't quite go to plan with that I believed at the start of the year I'd have a more internal role within the group and a more productive uh, more active role within the group I suppose but now I, I can understand and I understood then as well that the responsibility for the pr final presentation at concerts is with the team and so they've got to kind of be given the space to make to call the shots and make the decisions which makes sense um, and also in the beginning of the year especially there was a difficulty in slotting time to do different projects around the other commitments that I'd already signed up for. So as the year progressed, I got to establish a better communication with my mentor and um, sort out more uh, times to do to do these projects. Also, uh, I didn't get to do any video in the end, but this was simply because I didn't have the time and the chance to do it. Uh, and I found out anyway that video is a lot less of a deal in comparison to sound in terms of how much they do on both and um, so did the placement match up to my expectations I suppose it definitely did um, so I was happy that I was involved with a lot of different musical genres and situations such as uh, recording sessions and uh, in live concerts mixing in those um, so the placements contributed to my professional development and my own ambitions because uh, it's helped me with my time management skills for a start um, and also problem solving skills um, learned heaps from both of those aspects and uh, also as a performing musician myself the placement's given me an opportunity to see see it from the sound department's point of view and this has enabled me as a performer to learn how to communicate more effectively to a sound team and uh, thereby um, I'm communicating more effectively with an audience. Um, yeah.